In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, but to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still What's good, YouTubers? We're talking power, episode number three of this season. And before we do that, I got to put on the plus seven glasses of cinema and TV sexy as hell. The work on skill in this craft, giving y'all a better YouTube experience, something better to look at. Go check out my blog. Go check out shoplifegains.com. You might see some of the stuff I wear in there. So let's just start with the master of ceremonies himself, Ghost and what has been going on with him throughout this season and this episode. This episode started out where you saw Ghost washing his hands and he had blood on his hands. And that is because Ghost is taking at heart all the various things going on. He's missing Angela. In my opinion, that's his stress relief. Now y'all know we all have our own individual stress relief. Some of us is drinking, some of us is food, a lot of us is sex. That man needs Angela. Angela is his, is his emotional anchor. I think he loves her and she's been resisting him because she don't want to get caught up in anything deeper. Plus she's skipping around with Tasha. And so that man went on a killing spree and I agree with what Tasha said in this episode, Ghost is acting erratic. He's beside himself and he's making stupid moves. And ultimately, if they're gonna survive, Ghost is gonna to have to get his act together. Now, throughout this episode, you saw where he was trying to make those deals to get the monument for his daughter, and he's still working with cro a crooked ass councilman Tate. He thought that by putting that D on Fancy, y'all remember Fancy from Jamie Foxx, that that was gonna work. You know, hell, I thought that it was gonna work. But at the end of the day, she wound up screwing him, and so he had to rely on Councilman Tate. So I don't know where they're going with Ghost this season, because right now Ghost is all over the place. We'll keep watching on him. Person number two I want to talk about is Tasha, who seems like she is coming into her own. You want to talk about a ride or die chick? She is dealing with the emotions of losing her baby girl, one of her baby girls. She's dealing with knowing that her son is a liar. And y'all keep trying to tell me that there ain't nothing going on with her and Kanan. I did a review last week saying that I think Kanan could be um, Tariq's dad. And a lot of y'all was like, nah, y'all ain't feeling that. But there is something that has happened between Tasha and Kanan back in the day. And it's going on. And what you see in this clip is letting you know that they have some kind of a history. And I can't wait to see what that history is. I still contend they might have smashed, didn't tell Ghost about it, something happened. But throughout this episode, Tasha was convinced by Keisha, and by the way, fellas, I know y'all looking at how thick Keisha is looking in this season. I mean, she looking thick, Tommy missed out. But Keisha convinced Tasha to come clean with Tariq because they've been lying to the kids all these years, and Tariq came clean back with his mom. That is a good thing, but how long would it last? Because what they do with Tariq, they'll lure us into this false sense of he might be doing right, and then Tariq go do something stupid. It never fails. So let's see where that goes this time. Now let's talk about little Angela, who happens to be born the same day I'm born. She's all over the place too, and I think she's feeling that same void in her life that Ghost is feeling, and she's trying to resist getting back up with Ghost. She's gonna have two issues of obstruction of justice on her tab, because this chick that works for the, the police department, the internal affairs chick, is on her ass. And now Angela has blocked her from the case by going in there, busting in that chick's office, retrieving all the documents and everything that they needed to finish up their case. That is only going to make that girl get more desperate. I mean, she is going to be real desperate. Ain't no telling what that girl is going to do now. But what is her background? I, I still contend she had a friendship with Angela back in the day. I'll be interested to see how they play that. But then they're trying to give Angela a love interest, something to screw the taste of Jamie out of her mouth. With Rico Suavez, whatever his name is, I forgot the brother's name. 
but he's in it now and I'm worried that he might be some kind of a plant to get Angela in trouble because Angela is also an emotional wreck. That brings me to Tommy. Tommy is the reason why I was looking down on this story because Tommy, he's an emotional wreck too. You know, fellas, especially if you grew up without your dad, it don't matter when you finally connect with your dad. Dads seem to have a way to weasel their asses back into the lives of young men if they've never been around. I don't know what that attachment is. I've been through it. A lot of my homeboys in the hood been through it. And Tommy had the red flag up of wondering could he trust him, and then he just let that lawyer drop it all down. But Tommy has got to know that that daddy is not trying to help him. He better listen to his mama this time, and I hope he does. Because if this man ain't want to have nothing to do with you for 30 years, then all of a sudden he wants to be in your life and is helping you. Can't you feel the setup? And we've seen throughout this course of this show where Tommy can be reckless, where Tommy doesn't have all his P's and Q's in order and he makes dumb decisions. This is about to be a bad one. And now he's going to be tied up with the daddy and that cartel, the amen ass, and the other guys they're fighting. It's just going to be a big mess. And I'm interested to see how that plays out. I want you guys to leave me some comments. Is Tommy going to have to kill the daddy? I think the daddy is going to be killed by Tommy. Somebody's going to have to die this season. I don't think it's going to be Ghost. I don't think it's going to be Tommy, nor do I think it's going to be Kaven. But I think that daddy's going to have to die. Now let's move on to Kane and Crooked Ass. Now you want to root for Kanan, but at the same time, you got to hate Kanan because y'all know he's grimy. He's grimy and he's got Tommy lying to Ghost again. Ghost just said he's going to wash Tommy's money in this episode only if Tommy's not dealing with Kanan. Soon as Ghost walk out the door, Tommy takes Kanan's money and is going to do deals with him. And that's going to sour up this thing. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, there's like 50 plots spinning around that we're going to have to try to keep up with all of them. But we know you can't trust Kanan. Kanan is in it for himself. And you just wonder what are the higher priorities on Kanan's list? Does he hate Dre that bag and wants to take over the uh, cartel enough that he'll help Ghost and them get to that point? Or if he sees a window to jump out, will he jump out and do his own thing? He's a wild card and we got to keep watching. Last but not least, Dre. What was the big reveal from this episode that y'all might have missed? Did y'all see Diego mention that his sister panties get wet? off of Dre and that if Dre was to ever touch his sister he's gonna pull his eyeballs out and stuff him up in there to me that was a big reveal that sometime in this season Dre is gonna use that sister for his bidding whether it's to keep himself from getting out of jail whether it's to put the brother in check Dre is gonna use that sister to get himself out of trouble and I just want to know where that's going to lead because right now it's starting to look like they're setting it up where Dre is in over his head. And that sister, knowing that she has a crush on him, is going to be the thing that's going to help Dre get out of it. So I want you guys to leave me some comments below. How are you feeling about this season? Which direction you think they're going in? And who's going to wind up double crossing who? Who's going to jail? Who's going to die? That's going to do it for this review. Don't forget to like my video, comment, subscribe, share, share this message. Join me on Patreon if you like my content. Help a brother continue to grow. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.